Hi, I'm Josh, and in this video, we're going to build a proposal in Portal. We're going to go into the proposal section and create a new proposal here. This proposal is for Shrewd Farms. The customer is already in my address book since I did a project for Dwight last year. Next, I can load a cover image. This time, I'm going to use a stock photo. Next is the About Us section. This is where you highlight what makes your business unique. We can load images, attach files, even embed personalized videos. And you can save it as your default for all new projects. For this project, we're going to do an AV system in the congregating room, plus some audio in the kitchen. I'll do a nice summary scope of work for the customer. And then I'm ready to create the room. Next, let's add some products. Remember, we manage your product data in the catalog so you don't have to. Just look up the product and add it to the proposal. I can drag and drop products to put them in the order that I want them, and I can also nest items below other items to show that they're related. Now, I want to add a miscellaneous charge for wiring and connectors. I can do that with a custom item. Custom items allow you to create items that aren't necessarily in the catalog. And I can have the price dynamically calculated based on my room total. That looks good. Now I just need to add labor. You can also set up auto attachments, which allow you to attach labor and accessories to products in the catalog. Those attachments then get added automatically when you add that product to a proposal. Dwight was a little unsure of whether he wanted a 65 inch TV or upgrade to a 75 inch. So I'm gonna give him the option to upgrade. We can do that with options, which I can create from the area. And I'll copy everything I already have in this area into option two. Then I just need to replace the 65 inch with the 75 inch. The financial summary looks good. My sales tax is auto-calculated for me based on Dwight's address. My profit margins are calculated for me since I've set up managed dealer costs for my vendors in the catalog. Next up is the payment schedule. For this size job, I'll ask for 100% parts upfront and then the balance at substantial completion. It's a small project. Now, the payments area automatically sets up payment request placeholders based on your payment schedule. On this proposal, we have options for the customer to choose, so we don't know exactly what the deposit amount will be yet. With payments, it's calculated for you in the background when the customer chooses their option and accepts the proposal. The payment request is then generated automatically during the acceptance process and the customer is presented to make payment immediately. I've got my terms preloaded, so we're ready to send this off. When Dwight opens the proposal, I get a notification, so I know when he's looking at it. Here's what he sees. And he has to choose his options before he accepts and signs. Since I have payments enabled, he'll be presented with that deposit payment that I mentioned earlier. You can add a convenience fee with credit cards to help offset the credit card transaction fees. I'll get notified again when Dwight accepts the proposal and then also when he makes the deposit payment. That's it. 
Building proposals and winning jobs has never been easier. Now it's your turn. We're here in the chat if you need us.